really easy updo uh, that I like to do especially on a, like a bad hair day and I kind of picked one today <laughs> to show you um, what you're gonna need is a teasing comb or you can just get any kind of comb don't really need this um, if you don't want a couple bobby pins and either a ponytail holder or a banana clip and I love these things I got some teeth missing off of it because I use it a lot um, but you can get these at Walgreens or Rite Aid the best ones are these ones I think they're by Goody um, they have the little clips on them so you clip it like that and it won't come undone there's some that just kind of pop into the little socket and I don't really like those so if you can get one of these then that works okay so what I'm gonna do is a poof like a pompadour sort of thing and bring it back with the banana clip so I'll show you how to do this um, first what you do is take about to there I kind of judge by the edge of my eyebrows maybe a little bit in uh, it doesn't have to be perfect you don't want it squared off because then there'll be too much hair up here and it'll look really funny. But what I kind of do is I do it at like an angle. Here, I'll show you. Sort of do it like this and bring it to the back of your head like that. Okay. And then what you're going to do is just pull it up like this. Take your teasing comb. I usually do this in three sections. Okay. Oh, my hair's a mess. <laughs> Okay, so how you tease it is you back comb it. So you'll pull it taut and you'll, te you'll uh, comb it down like this. So comb it down and that gives it some volume. And I sort of do it all over the place. Grab another section. Sort of tease it. And then I'll kind of separate it a little bit. You don't want to comb your fingers through it, but just separate it a little bit. And tease the next layer. And then the front layer I tease just a little bit to kind of uh, give it a little more oomph in the front. So now we have like this big out of control thing. <laughs> so what you're going to do for the, the pompadour is you take it about to here. You're going to pull it back taut and put it on your head like that. Okay, so it's a little poof. And then you can push it forward if you want to make it bigger, or you can push it back if you want to make it smaller. See that? And then what I do, when I have it, it doesn't have to be perfect. I think it looks a, lot, a little better when it's messy. When you have it kind of looking how you want to, it to look, uh, take the bobby pins, and I'm going to crisscross them because that helps it to stay all day. So I put that one going from back to front this way and then I'm going to put uh, this one going from this side forward that way to crisscross over the other one. This takes a little bit of practice. Um, I've been doing it for a long time so it's a little easy but um, after you know you get it, it it's pretty easy. So now we have the first step done and what we're going to do is use the banana clip. So what I'm going to do is just kind of comb the hair back, especially where it is at the ears. Kind of comb it there. Take my banana clip. And what you want to do is you want to kind of put it under all your hair. And then what you're going to do is in that V shape, okay, it's like, it's like this. While you bring it up, you're going to clamp it so it like combs through your hair. You're going to want to keep it touched at your scalp and bring it all the way up. So I'll show you this. Sometimes it takes a couple tries to get it all the hair in. See like that. And pull it kind of taut. There will be hair like sticking out the top, but I'll hold this and I'll just kind of take 
take the hairs and kind of tuck them under. And I think with the banana clip it looks a lot better um, when it is messy. And don't worry about a whole bunch of hairs sticking out because you can put those down with bobby pins. And clamp it. And then what I do is I sort of push this against my scalp and kind of pull my hair out to make it like that. And it looks really cool if you have layered hair. Kind of looks like a mohawk. <laughs> It looks even more like a mohawk when I have my hair trimmed, but it's kind of grown out right now. Okay, so you can keep it kind of messy up front right here, or you can sort of um, just really lightly just comb all this back. Now what you're going to do is take a hairspray, and it's kind of, whoa, this is out of control. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to work. <laughs> oh, we're exploding here. Okay. So just sort of spray it a little bit. And this is good if you have oily hair and you're having a bad hair day and you put this up like this. The hairspray, because it has alcohol in it, it's actually going to absorb the oil. So it doesn't look oily. So I'm going to do that. And then see I have these little hairs sticking up here. But I'm going to kind of smooth out the sides. And I find that it smooths out a lot better when I don't directly spray it on my hair, I spray it on my hand, a little bit on my hand first, and then I smooth it up. And I find you get a lot more smooth look. And it stays down a lot better. Okay. Then what I'm going to do, I have my bobby pins around here. Where the heck are they? Uh -huh. I only have a couple. Then what I'm going to do is just kind of take those hairs and pull them back and put a bobby pin here and there to hold them down. I can get these bobby pins to work for me. <laughs> and then I'm going to spray it again. Okay. Spray it again a little bit. Okay. Alright, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Uh, I hope it helped you out a little bit. I might be doing some hair videos coming up. We'll see. I don't know quite what I'm going to do yet, but we'll see. Alright, talk to you guys later. Bye.